Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. Let us continue Java 8 new features. In last session, we have completed functional interface related points. In this session, let us try to understand functional interface annotation. In last session, we have completed what is functional interface, why functional interface, how can we create functional interface, identifying correct implementation of functional interface and compiler thinking with respect to functional interface. These five points we have completed. I hope you practiced and make a note on the points you have learned. Now let us understand next point at the rate functional and interface related points. There are totally five points. All these five points are very, very easy. Okay, let us try to understand. First point we need to understand that is two ways of creating functional interface. The first way is creating a functional interface as effectively. That means you are not explicitly declaring the interface as a functional interface. Just you created a single abstract method interface, then we call it as effectively functional interface. For example, I am writing something like this interface edition open bracket. Here I am creating only one abstract method. Then this interface is called a functional interface, but I have not explicitly declared it as a functional interface. Then we call it as effectively functional interface. If you remember in inner classes concept and in try with resources concept, we have to make the variable as final or effectively final. What the meaning of effectively final? For example, I am writing try parenthesis file reader fr equal to new file reader of some file name I have specified here. Okay. Then inside this try block fr equal to some other object you should not assign. Okay. If you assign it, then it is not a final variable. Okay. So now you are assigning it, so it is a normal variable. Then compiler will throw error. Either you should declare this variable as a final or you must make it as a effectively final means you should not assign any new value. It. This is the point we already discussed in inner classes and try with resource concept. Okay. Then the same point is applicable for functional interface also. What the meaning of effectively functional interface? You create one interface with only one abstract method, then it is called functional interface because you not explicitly declare, you call it as what? Effectively functional interface. Then what is the meaning of declaring functional interface explicitly? You must add here the annotation functional interface. Okay. If you add the functional interface annotation to this interface, then now forcibly we are telling it is a functional interface. That means if you try to add one more method here, one more abstract method if you try to create, then compiler will throw error. Are you understand? Uh? So, what are the two ways we can create a functional interface? Number one, creating a interface as effectively functional interface and number two forcing it to be a functional interface. If you want to create as effectively functional interface, just you create interface only with one abstract method. No, I want to force it to be a functional interface, then add the annotation at the rate functional interface. Once you add at the rate functional interface, if you try to add one more abstract method in this interface, compiler will start throwing error because it is not a functional interface. All you people understand? Then what is a at the rate functional interface and what the use of at the rate functional interface? Can you try to tell now? You already got some idea in this example. At the rate functional interface is a marker annotation. It is only for marking this interface is a, a functional interface. Repeating again, at the rate functional interface is a marker annotation. It is available from Java 8 version onwards. Using at the rate functional interface, we can declare one interface as a functional interface explicitly. So that if you try to add one more abstract method in this interface, compiler will throw error. Clear my point? The next, uh, the question already I answered. How can you tell to compiler and other programmer an interface is a functional interface? Very simple. Declare this interface with uh, at the rate functional interface. Then it is a functional interface. So we are informing to compiler other programmer it is a functional interface. Then other programmer will not try to add one more method in it. If you try to add, then compiler will throw error. 
then finally tell me what are the rules in creating functional and interface if you declare a interface with at the rate functional and interface and if you try to add one more method compiler will throw error it means at the rate functional and interface should contain only one abstract method if you try to create more than one abstract method compiler will throw error okay now right let us try to test all these points in the system now right here i am typing one interface interface edition save it i am saving in the folder java new features java 8 functional interface folder with the name edition.java then save it open command prompt to compile this interface okay now look at there this is an interface which doesn't have any abstract method and are not declared with at the rate functional interface hence it is not called functional interface if you compile it there is no compiled error compiler considered as a marker interface next i am creating one abstract method void add of int a comma int b it is a one abstract method interface it is a functional and interface we create it as effectively functional and interface that means compiler considered as a functional interface as long as we have not created one more abstract method okay save come to command prompt here i am compiling java c edition dot java now program successfully compiled and compiler considered as a functional interface okay now we are allowed to create lambda expression from this functional interface now i am creating one more abstract method here int b int c save it come to command prompt compile no compile time error it is a consider as normal interface not functional interface but now i want to tell to a compiler please consider it as a functional interface either by myself or by other programmer if create more than one abstract method or not or not created any abstract method please throw compile time error i want to tell this information to compiler for that purpose you must add here at the rate functional interface annotation right it is a predefined annotation which is created as part of java 8 version in jdk software in a java.lang package you no need to import anything and you no need to create it just you need to reuse it's already created by java people in jdk software as part of java.lang package okay now whenever you add this annotation on top of this interface then this interface is marked as functional interface then now go to command prompt and compile and see that you will get a compile time error observe you are getting compile time error unexpected at the rate functional interface annotation addition is not a functional interface because it has two methods now i am removing one method save it come to command prompt clear screen compile compile successfully because it is a functional interface has only one abstract method removing this method also save it come to command prompt then compile look at there again we are getting same compile time error unexpected at the rate functional interface annotation because addition is not a functional interface no abstract method found in interface addition so this is the important points you have to know about at the rate functional interface so this is the story about functional interface and at the rate functional interface introduction and their rules i hope it's clear to you all and then i want you answer all the points related to at the rate functional interface annotation answer these questions how many ways we can create functional interface two ways number one create it as functional interface effectively functional interface that means you are not declaring interface using at the rate functional interface annotation but you are making sure only one abstract method you have created then is considered as functional interface then second point you are declaring interface using at the rate functional interface annotation so that you are making sure you are informing to compiler it is must be a only functional interface in future if anybody trying to add one more abstract method or removing existing abstract method you are planning to get compile time error okay then next point what is at the rate functional interface it is a marker annotation it is available from java 8 version onwards in java.lang package why at the rate functional interface annotation it is used for marking a interface as a functional interface so that we can inform to compiler it is a functional interface don't allow anybody to create one more method if somebody added then we will get compile time error so we can make sure an interface is living as a functional interface forever so lambda expression when we create we don't get any problem in the future how can i tell to compiler and other programmer an interface is a functional interface just simple you declare your interface with at the rate functional interface annotation then next what are the rules in creating functional interface simple once you declare a interface as a functional interface by using at the rate functional interface annotation inside that functional interface you are not allowed to add more abstract methods or you are not allowed to make that interface as a empty interface okay 
So only one abstract method you are allowed to create in that interface. So these are the points we discussed as part of at the rate functional interface. Simple conclusion, as long as you don't declare interface as functional interface by using at the rate functional interface annotation, you can add some more abstract methods or you can remove abstract methods. Compiler will not throw error. Only error is throwing for lambda expression when you create it from that interface. Next, if you want to make sure this interface should contain only one abstract method, just add at the rate functional interface annotation. So, compiler will take care of not adding some more methods. If somebody try to add, compiler will throw error immediately. Now, the question, in a functional interface, in addition to abstract methods, can I create some other different programming elements? In Java 8 version, we can create default methods and static methods in interface. So, uh, in a functional interface, am I allowed to create? Yes. In a functional interface, we are allowed to create one abstract method plus we can create n number of, n number of default methods and static methods we can create, no problem. Okay, let us try to understand 12th point that is different programming elements allowed and not allowed in functional interface and Java 9 version enhancement from Java 9 onwards some more enhancement we got to interface is it affecting to functional interface these points around uh, 7 test cases are there these are 7 test cases we will try to understand in the next session. I hope you understand clearly this functional interface and other functional interface related the basic rules. Okay, please prepare the notes for these next 5 points also and and practice well in the system. Please try to test all the cases whatever I have shown and please available for the next session to learn this 12th point. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thanks for watching this session. So, see you in the next session for a discussion on this 12th point. Subscribe to Nareshyati channel for more video updates. Thank you.